Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is from Surah 7, Al-Araf, or The Heights, verses 130 through 141. These verses talk of the scourge of God against the Pharaoh of Egypt and his chiefs, and their final destruction. Allah then rescued the children of Israel, but they still disbelieved in one God. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. We afflicted Pharaoh's people with several years of famine and shortages of fruit, so that they might come to their senses. But whenever they had good times, they said, It is our due. And whenever evil befell them, they ascribed that bad luck to Moses and those with him. Behold, in fact their misfortune was in the hands of Allah, yet most of them do not know. They said to Moses, No matter what sign you may bring us to put your magic spell, we are not going to believe you. So we plagued them with storms, locusts, lice, frogs, and blood. Clear-cut signs, yet they persisted in their arrogance, for they were a criminal nation. Every time the plague befell them, they said, O Moses, pray for us to your Lord, as he has made the promise with you. If you help remove the plague from us, we shall surely believe in you and send the children of Israel with you. But every time we removed the plague from them, and the appointed time for the release of the children of Israel came, lo, they broke their promise. Therefore we inflicted retribution on them and drowned them in the sea, for they denied our signs and became heedless of them. Thus we made that nation which was oppressed, the inheritors of the eastern and western lands which we had blessed. That's how the fair promise of your Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel, because they had endured with patience, and we leveled to the ground the great works and fine buildings which Pharaoh and his nation had erected with such pride. We made the children of Israel cross the Red Sea. On their way, they came across a people who were worshipping their idols. They said, O Moses, fashion for us an Allah, or a, a god for worship, like the gods of these people. Moses replied, You are indeed very ignorant people. Don't you realize what these people are following is doomed to destruction, and their deeds are in vain? Moses further said, Should I seek for you a god for worship other than Allah? when it is he who has exalted you above all the nations? And remember, Allah says, Remember that we rescued you from the people of Pharaoh, who subjected you to cruel torment, putting your sons to death, and sparing your women, and in that condition of slavery, here was a great trial from your Lord. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.